Hi. In this lecture, I would like to treat a simple yet powerful fundamental aerodynamic equation which enables us to calculate pressures and velocities in incompressible flows, the Bernoulli equation. In the previous lecture, we derived the Euler equation for fluid flow from Newton's second law, force as mass times acceleration, remember? We found the differential equation dp is minus rho v dv. The assumption in the derivation of this relation were steady flow and neglect of gravity and viscosity forces. Now let us integrate the Euler equation dp plus rho v dv is zero along a streamline between the points 1 and 2. So we get the integral of dp from p1 to p2 plus the integral from v1 to v2 of rho v dv is zero. And this develops into p2 minus p1 plus rho times a half v2 squared minus a half v1 squared is zero. Or if we re rearrange this, p1 plus a half rho v1 squared is p2 plus a half rho v2 squared. So along a streamline we have p plus a half rho v squared is constant. This constant is called the total pressure pt. P is the static pressure and a half rho v squared is the dynamic pressure. This is known as Bernoulli's principle or Bernoulli's equation. Who actually was this Daniel Bernoulli? Daniel Bernoulli was born in January in 1700 in Groningen in the Netherlands. His father Johan was professor in mathematics at the University of Groningen. The family came from Basel in Switzerland and after 10 years abroad they returned when Daniel was five years old. His father's brother Jacob was holding a chair of mathematics at Basel University and when he died Johan was offered to fill the vacancy. Daniel had a younger brother Johan Jr and an older brother, Nikolaus, and all three were very heavily interested in mathematics. However, Daniel's father did not allow him to study this, since he had the conviction that there was no money in mathematics. He wanted Daniel to become a merchant. And that's why Daniel studied philosophy and logic, and later on medicine, in which he completed his doctorate at the age of 20. In the meantime, he did receive lessons from his father and his older brother in mathematics, and he studied his, he studied his father's theories on kinetic energy. Still, he pursued an academic career, and after several unsuccessful applications for chairs at Basel University in anatomy, botany, and, and logic, in 1725, he was appointed to the chair of mathematics of the University of St. Petersburg in Russia, together with his older brother, Nikolaus whom also was this offered a position. Sadly, Nikolaus died of fever soon after his arrival. In 1727, this vacancy was filled by Leonard Euler, one of his father's brightest students. And it was in St. Petersburg that Daniel Bernoulli laid the foundation of the equation we just derived. He reported about it in his work Hydrodynamica, which was published in 1738, four years after his return to Basel. Here we see the cover of this document. As you can see, it is in Latin. According to the stamp, this copy comes from the library of the Groningen University, where Daniel's father, Johan, was a professor during 10 years. On the cover, there's a remarkable addition to Daniel's name, meaning that he was the son of Johan. The relation between the two was a bit troublesome, so with his father being a renowned mathematician, Daniel either put it there to give himself more standing, or he wanted to show his good intentions towards his father. The equation we now attribute to Bernoulli can, however, not be found in his book. Although the basis for it is discussed in his Hydrodynamica, the derivation as shown comes from Euler. So, although the equation bears Bernoulli's name, we have to thank Euler as well, for his contribution to one of the simplest but widely applicable equations in fluid dynamics. After having taught botany and physiology in 1750, Daniel was appointed to the chair of physics, to which he devoted his time until he retired in 1776. He contributed to science with outstanding work on a great variety of topics in fluid dynamics and physics. And when he died in 1784, he had won the most prestigious prize of the Paris Academy of Sciences 10 times, signed 
Daniel Bernoulli. One of the applications of Bernoulli's principle is the pressure distribution along an airfoil. Since the pressure is constant, perpendicular to the airfoil surface, by measuring the pressure distribution, you can derive the velocity at some distance around the airfoil. Bernoulli's equation can also be used to determine the flight speed in incompressible flow. For that, we need a pitot tube, named after the French physicist Henri Pitot, who developed it in 1732 to determine the velocity of the water in rivers. It measures the total pressure. To calculate the speed, we also need the static pressure, which is measured by a static port in the fuselage. Here you see pitot tubes installed on an aircraft. In many cases, these two are combined in one instrument, a pitot-static tube, or Prontal tube. Such an instrument measures the dynamic pressure directly, from which we can derive the flight speed with V is the square root of 2 times Q divided by rho. And we will hear more about Prontal in following lectures. This concludes the lecture on Bernoulli's equation. It was derived for an incompressible flow neglecting viscosity. In the next lecture, we will set some steps on the slippery path of compressible flows.